Moving on, up to 155 pounds. I think this is my favorite fight um, of the evening. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What's wrong with this fight? What's good with this fight? Do you like it? Do you not? What do you say? I don't think there's anything wrong with this fight. I think these both, both these guys, this is my most highly anticipated fight of the card because I, I think that this fight will mm -hmm. be the most competitive one. I think that they're pretty evenly matched. They're both good strikers. Uh, they both have some power. They can both throw in volume. Um, again, it's, it's kind of just a question mark. Like They haven't just fought – uh, at the highest level yet. This is their big opportunity to, to do so. Uh, there is a, a pretty decent age gap between these two, you know, not say as wide as like Martinez versus Sines or Shabazian versus Brunson last card, but two years. Um, Mikey looks solid. I, I really like what I see out of him. He's got good volume, good pressure. He's pretty technical striker, uh, fast, elusive. He's got a solid ground game as well, though. He prefers to strike. Uh, Earl's kind of same thing, like long rangey guy, uh, kind of like unorthodox, uh, difficult to deal with. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to slightly side with Mikey here. I just think he's a bit more polished of the two. Uros is one of these guys though, where like, you know, a ton uh, of potential, yeah. ton of potential, ton of potential. Yeah. Because like his age and also, uh, trains with Jared Cannonier, which I think is uh, definitely a perk. No doubt about it. Um, even though they are different weight classes, I think, uh, who you train with, uh, definitely could help out your career trajectory. So, um, I think that Uros definitely has some intangibles going in his favor, but I certainly do think that Mikey will be game, and I, I'm just really excited to see how this one plays out. Yeah, and you know, when you look at the odds, right, I think, okay, so now now that I have to think about it, with Cross and Robinson off, I believe, yeah, no, for sure, this is the closest fight on paper, quote-unquote, or according to the odds makers, that we've got. Here's a reason why I believe that is. I said this a little bit to you before we started this and when we were talking about Medich, you know, back and forth in our DMs. I got a problem riding or putting all my faith in fighters coming into contender series, the UFC, blah, 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 blah. This isn't a knock on this promotion. They put on good fights. It's exciting. They're on UFC Fight Pass. I'm not trying to disparage this promotion at all. However, I have noticed in the past that there is a pattern with guys who come out of the contender series, come out of the UFC from Alaska Fighting Championships and it's not like by no means necessary. Am I saying every single fighter that comes out of Alaska fighting championships is not a good fighter and they can't be have success in the UFC. Clearly not what I'm saying. What I am saying is though, those guys sometimes match make a little bit irrationally, whether it is because they're doing it on purpose or whether it is because Alaska is minus five degrees Fahrenheit in September and no one wants to live there. I don't know. It could be a combination of things. However, most of the time, almost every time, when you watch fights from guys that seem to have, you know, that little bit of something special in them coming up through Alaska fighting championships, they're fighting guys that are nowhere near on their level. And the numbers back me up. Medich, Medich is five and oh, three, three KO slash TKOs, two submissions. You know, he trains out of Anchorage BJJ. I would say that, you know, his base, well, what would you say his base is like B would you say he's more comfortable on the ground? Cause I got that. Um, I got that vibe when I was watching him. It's not that he's bad on the feet, but, yeah, I think, I think he's crafty around the ground. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I didn't actually look into that, but I, I would guess based off his what he's shown, it, his base is the ground. Yeah. Here's here's what worries me, though. His next to last fight was against a guy named Jason, either Jason Flowers or Jason Powers. Jason Flowers. Jason Flowers came into that fight with a stunning and shining record of 0-1. If I'm going to ride a guy going into the Contender Series, and this fight was... Okay, just a little over two, under two years ago. So he's had significant time since then. He got controlled on bottom for way too long of a period of time. And yeah, he won by triangle. And yeah, he set it up. But he was controlled completely on bottom for way too long of a time against a guy who is, I repeat, 0 and 1 for me to write. But then here comes the conundrum. Mikey Gonzalez's talent that he's fought isn't much better. 42, 60, and 1 combined for uh, the lowest win percentage of any fighter's previous opponents on this card. I said to you earlier, Mikey Gonzalez was a guy when I was watching that caught my eye. I was really impressed with what I saw. He's a Pan-American BJJ champion. He's a BJJ brown belt. And nothing at all about this guy's film indicates to me that that's where he wants to fight. This dude loves to strike. And what's weird is that hook kick that he throws, dude, that hook kick from Southpaw where he curves his left foot, dude, it, it puts guys down and it lands often. Um, again, though, 
the conundrum and difficulty in picking this fight here is when I say these two are getting ready and going into the most high level and difficult fight of their life by far, I really mean by far, like these two dudes have never seen anybody as talented as one another. And it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out in that sense. Yeah, I agree. You said it. Yeah. They're kind of like mirror images of each other. Good strikers could be JJ practitioners. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I mean, this could be, uh, you know, this could be one of those fights where it goes to decision, but we might see the winner get a, a contract bonus regard uh, or contract regardless because they put on such a good performance uh, and impress the, the boss man himself.